In the video for exercise 512, we went in detail in, about, into the concept behind these exercises, where they ask you to calculate the specific rotation, uh, what the equation is, what it means, and the procedure to use. Now in these, we're just going to quickly use that procedure that we developed in the video for exercise 512. So if you're watching, if you're skipping to this video and it doesn't make sense, go back and watch the video for 512 to see what all this means and how it's all coming together. So here, you'd see this problem, you'd see a bunch of numbers. And at the first side of the numbers, you'd think, okay, this is probably an equation problem. As you learn the, the equations, which are like the haiku of chemistry, as you learn those, the haiku of science, as you learn those, associate them with key words. The key words are the words that represent what each of the symbols in the equation mean. And one of the, the equation that we introduced in the video for 512 is the equation for specific rotation. So that is a key word. So when you see all these numbers, don't try to read through the problem and the first time you read through it, make sense of what everything is and see how it all fits together. Brush your eyes over the words looking just for key words, key phrases. And the key phrase here is specific rotation. That key word should remind you of this equation. The specific rotation is equal to the observed rotation divided by the concentration times the path length. Once you have the equation, still don't go back and read the problem. Write each of those variables separately Note that the concentration here has to be in grams per milliliter, as we discussed, and the path length has to be in decimeters, as we discussed, and also, as we discussed, uh, 10 centimeters is equal to 1 decimeter. Now that you have this framework with the equation that corresponds to the keyword and all of the variables in the equation clearly written out, we can go back and read the problem, and every time we run into a number now, we can clearly organize it so that we see how it all fits together. The first number we have is 0 0.095 grams. And the place where you have grams here is at the top of the concentration. So 0 0.095. We'll go there. The next number we see is 1 milliliter. 1 milliliter. The milliliters are in the bottom of the concentration. So we'll put 1 milliliter there. The next number we see is 10 centimeters path length. And we know 10 centimeters is one decimeter, so that path length is going to be one. The next number we see is the observed rotation. Now watch out, the observed rotation is not 20 degrees Celsius. 20 degrees Celsius is the temperature that you measured this at. Notice that temperature doesn't show up in this equation, and so we're not gonna plug that number in anywhere. But the observed rotation is negative, not a 2.99, so we are gonna plug that in. So the observed rotation is negative 2.99, and that's what we're going to plug in for this alpha here without the brackets, as we discussed in that previous video. So once we have all these things, all these units, we can finally plug them in. The specific rotation, that's what we're looking for. That will equal the observed rotation, which we know is negative 2.99, divided by the concentration, which here will just be 0 0.095, times the path length, which is 1. And when you plug that into a calculator, you would get negative 2.99 divided by 0 0.095. I'm getting around 31.47. That should be negative 31. 0.47 degrees. So 2.99 divided by 0 0.095. Yeah. So what that means, so that's your answer, and what that means is that if your plane polarized light was going vertically, because of that negative sign, that means it's going to, this is now going to go to the left, and it's going to the left 31 0.47 degrees, and that it allows you to identify cholesterol, which is a chiral molecule in the laboratory. Let's go through that procedure one more time, and again, I'm going to encourage you, I'm going through this kind of fast, because we went through it in detail and carefully and slowly explaining everything in the video for 512. So for this next one, 
you see a bunch of uh, numbers and you're like, ah, this is an equation problem. Let me look for keywords. You see the keyword specific rotation. Immediately you write down this equation. The specific rotation is equal to the observed rotation divided by the concentration times the path length. Then write each of those variables separately with an equal sign so that when, as we read through the problem, we can organize the information that we come across. Note that the concentration is going to be in grams per milliliter, and the path length has to be in decimeters. And also note that there are 10 centimeters in one decimeter. So now we can read through the problem. The first number we see is 1.3 grams. That's at the top of the concentration, so we'll put 1.3 there. The path length is going to be uh, I'm sorry, the volume of that is going to be 5 milliliters. 5 milliliters is at the bottom of the concentration, so 5 will go there. The next number we see is 10 centimeter path length. A 10 centimeter path length, 10 centimeters is 1 decimeter, so 10 centimeters we'll just put in 1 decimeter for the path length. And note we have to put in decimeters. And then the next thing we see is the observed rotation. Now the observed rotation is not 20 degrees Celsius, that's the temperature that we use to measure it, it is positive 0.57. So this is zero, positive 0 0.57 degrees. And they want to know, calculate the specific rotation of menthol. So we're trying to figure out what that is. So the specific rotation is equal to the observed rotation so that was positive 0 0.57 divided by the concentration. So if we get the concentration, that's 1.3 divided by 5. The concentration is going to be 0 0.26 times the path length, which we saw was 1. So we can take 0.57 divided by 0.26, and that is 2.19. And crucially, it's positive. So that's the number of degrees. And what that means is that at standard conditions, if you use a tube that is one decimeter long and one gram has a concentration of menthol of one gram per milliliter, then you'll take your po plain polarized light, it'll rotate it to the right because of this positive sign. And the degrees between that will be 2.19 degrees. And that will allow you to, to um, observe experimentally the chirality